This is the last video that I'm ever going to record in this space. And it feels kind of bittersweet. I've been doing YouTube for a very, very long time. Technically, I've been making videos longer than YouTube has ever existed. But I've really only ever found true success or building of the things I've always wanted to do in the last two years. But since the first 100 days video blew up in lockdown, when so many people just needed a space to be able to chill and relax, and there was no other way to get that. We were all just locked in our homes. It's very weird to say, but the lockdown created a lot of careers online. It threw a lot of people up to massive success. We're seeing kind of the downturn of that after everybody how now has to compete with going out into the real world, seeing friends, going out and doing things. And a lot of people have struggled, myself included, with maintaining momentum on what we've built into what we're hoping to become someday. It was a taste of success. I'd be lying if I say I didn't want it back or want a second go of it. And well, we're still going. I'm not full time anymore, but that doesn't mean I'm not working at this every single day to continue building and growing and just making this be more. I'm about to move and leaving the room where in my mind, my channel was kind of reborn and the opportunity for this to actually happen became a reality. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm going to miss this space, this room, the new space. It's amazing, and I'm very excited for it, but it comes with its own challenges, and it's gonna be a while before it's actually ready. We'll get to it, I promise, but it'll take time. <coughs> I've, reco I've tried recording this video like four times now, and every time I was doing the fancy editing and the cuts and everything else that we do over on the main channel, to try to drive retention, to try to make this be a video that everyone would watch. And to some degree that felt like it was missing the point. I wanna be authentic. So this video is going to be completely unedited. Every time I'm coughing, need to catch my breath, check my notes, it's all going to be there. That one cut at the beginning for the title card, that's as artsy as I'm going to get. So let's talk about where we're going. What is the road ahead for Lagundo as a company to some degree in the next six months? Well, let's start there. Uh, this every it is whew, things have gotten so much bigger in the last few weeks comparatively to where they were before. Uh, when I first blew up, it was just me. And then it was me and two other people. And then it was me and one other person who were actually working on the videos full time. We have an amazing moderation team. They are all paid, by the way. Not as much as they deserve, but as much as I can afford to do so right now. But we pay the mods because they put an immense amount of work into maintaining the feel of our community on a day-to-day -day basis. And they deserve it. They deserve more. And hopefully as we continue to grow, I can continue to do better there. But when talking about the content editing team, right now we are at four, five, six, seven, seven and a half people. Somebody at the moment is dealing with some stuff and is not super busy, but is still on the team. But we now have five editors dedicated across long form stuff like the movies, Extraction and 100 Days, that's Sierra, and it probably always will be. We have two, three, three other editors who are working on the regular length YouTube kind of stuff. And I just spoke with somebody yesterday who's primarily gonna be managing our shorts, SEO and thumbnails, posting, all of that jazz. We also have Mundy's, who's in a production role, and uh, Mother of Sad Boys, Mrs. Mundy's, who's going to be helping a lot with merch. More info on that coming relatively soon. But the team has grown massively. There's now kind of eight people who are at least part-time are thinking about this channel and how we can grow. These channels and how we can grow. And 
that's been a massive investment that's taken about a, a good chunk. I can't even put a percentage on it, but a good chunk of what the channel makes now is getting directly reinvested back or paying other people's salaries to make sure. Yes, everybody is being paid and everybody is being paid well above market rate, at least the highest that I can afford to do so. I'm not pulling... <laughs> okay, this is going to both date this video and potentially upset some people and I don't care. Until about a month ago, <clears throat> I would always say that my goal is to be the next Rooster Teeth. Because <laughs> it was. It was for a very long time. I liked the idea of starting with one thing and then being able to continuously build and expand and build and expand and grow and do different things and experiment, sometimes fail, and build it out to be a full production house being able to produce multiple different things, having multiple different talent, having multiple different broadcasters under one unified banner, making something collectively that is greater than the sum of its parts. Obviously, things have happened, and there's been news with Rooster Teeth lately, and that specific place has been built on a culture that is the antithesis of what I strive for in everything that we're doing here. But the... Hmm... The, the end is still something I want, just not the means. I need to find a better example. I would say G4, but unfortunately the corporate overlords killed that too. <coughs> I'm still getting over just a little bit of a cold. It seems like as a parent, I'm constantly just a little bit sick. Not bad enough that I can't do anything, but just bad enough that when I do anything, especially talking a lot, which both in my day job and in this is kind of an essential part of the job, I end up coughing like a maniac. I apologize that you're going to see that a little bit more in this video. Or if you watch the streams, maybe just about. I normally take a <laughs> big shot of Dayquil right before a stream so I'm not a coughing mess. I didn't do that first thing in the morning because I have very limited time to record this before the girls get back from gymnastics class. So with all the preface out of the way, all of the, the premise, the promise of what we want to do, Let's talk about how we're going to get there. <clears throat> First, let's talk content, because this is probably the thing that most of you care the most about. We have a new 100 days video that is coming as soon as it's safe to do so. And I'll explain that in a second. The 1000 days in the multiverse, which will contain a whole lot more towards the overall ARG and the next kind of big checkpoint in the story is going to be coming about a month after that. We have a lot of work to do on the lore and puzzle side of that to get that ready to go. We have Dominion episodes, which are going to be coming as close to weekly as I can possibly manage. Hardcore episodes that will be coming about bi-weekly because those projects take a massive amount of time. And then other fun videos like the Gravity or the Witherstorm video, which is coming soon now that we have another editor on board. Those will come out when they're ready. I just got a really stupid fun idea that for a video is going to be extremely boring, but as a stream is potentially going to be really exciting. We'll see how that's going to go. Talking about streaming, we're going to be streaming everywhere as soon as I'm back. Multi-streaming to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, gaming. And as soon as we can get our TikTok up above a thousand and get a stream key, we'll be multi-streaming to TikTok as well. I want as many people as possible to be able to find us. Now you're gonna be asking, well, are you releasing the partner contract to do that? No. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people, and I met a lot of amazing people at TwitchCon who gave me fantastic advice. And one of them was, just do it. Don't wait for permission from other people to do the thing that we need to know needs to be done in order to grow the channel. So we're just going to do it. And we'll see what happens. I'm, gonna, I'm entering my rebel phase, okay? This is, it's worthwhile. So with all of that, that is the complete content picture of what you're going to be seeing from the channel starting in a couple weeks, as soon as I'm moved, and as soon as everything is set up. There's also going to be more videos on this channel that are going to be one-offs in games that are not Minecraft that I'm playing with my friends. 
whether I'm going to be doing Sea of Thieves with Viking. He's been begging for that for a long time. Or we saw a game that's an FPS that looks like it's in the Minecraft world, but then it has Minecraft destruction physics, and it's kind of like the game Teardown, but a shooter and multiplayer. And who knows, maybe I'll just jump in for a couple games of Halo against Sierra. He's been begging for that as well, and it's been a while since I've kicked his butt. We'll see how that's actually going to play out. There are so many other games that I would love to play more, but they don't fall into the very specific expectations around the main channel, so we're going to use this channel for that. We're going to bounce around, do different things with it, and see what comes of it. If something works really well, we'll keep doing it. But we also have specific content plans for this channel that are going to work in parallel to the main one. There are two specific series that I'm very excited for. We're going to be starting a D&D &D series. We talk about this all the time. On, in the streams, on videos, I am a big D&D &D nerd, and there's a bunch of people in our community who are also kind of the same, and I want to run a show with them and with our friends, produce it, make it one of the best D&D &D podcasts out there, put it out for everywhere, and since I'm also a person who makes dice boxes and dice and other tabletop accessories for D&D, &D, We'll probably give away at least one of those every single stream or video. Why not? I have it. Let's use it. So we're going to be doing that. The launch date for that is somewhere in early 2023, the first couple months, Q1 of 2023. But we are probably going to start recording and testing that to make sure that the cast of the show all get along well, that everybody's on the same vibes, and that we can work on producing that so that it actually looks really, really good, because that would be the goal. That's what we want to do. <clears throat> so if you want to see that, you're going to want to join our Patreon, and I'll talk about the levels for that right after this second announcement. There's been a lot of stuff that has happened. I mean, how many different big bombshell gaming and entertainment influencer media attention economy stories have I already mentioned in this video? And we're what? Uh, 12 minutes in. Imagine if I wasn't talking about this by myself. I'm going to be getting and sitting together with the members of the editing team, and we are going to be doing some kind of podcast about gaming and influencer news, and news in the entertainment space, talking about editing, talking about the process of finding editors, helping build a YouTube channel, talking about why G4 failed, or why the culture of Rooster Teeth was quiet for so long, talking about all of the news in the streaming space, some of the issues that exist around parasocial relationships, all of it. We're going to talk about all of it. It's all going to be on the table. And that's coming to Lagoon Dose as well. Again, we'll probably beta test a few ideas for look and feel, length, what kind of level of editing people want on that. And we'll beta test that with patrons in the remainder of this year and then release the series for everybody in 2023. It'll have an after show that'll be just an extra 15 minutes, maybe the one story, the one more thing that we didn't get to each episode. And that will be Patreon exclusive. And it's going to be our very, very first example of something that is going to be behind paywall content. That's kind of scary for me. It's the first time we've ever done anything like that in a very, very, very long time. Obviously, if you dig back really far in my archives, there was a time right around my Halo days where I would do like an exclusive Patreon video every month. Nothing really came of that, honestly. There was like three people who supported me on Patreon back in that day. It was a a fraction of the insane support that I get from you all as a community, which is, it's ridiculous. It, it honestly, genuinely is, and I'm humbled by your generosity. I don't want to be dependent on that generosity, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to survive by putting other people out so an overwhelming majority of what we make on the channel is through video ad revenue on YouTube. And it's probably going to stay that way for the near sustainable future. Uh, we are, I am actively 
going to be trying to find different ways to fit sponsors into videos to make them be able to be a little bit more profitable. So that way I can afford to pay the editing team and the moderators that are working on this more. I'm not trying to get the bag and run away and, and just quit my job again. I want to build this into something that can actually sustain more people than just myself. So bear with me as you might see the odd video ad integration here or there on any of those projects or any of the older stuff. There's a, an amazing retention graph on the last, on the 100 Beacons episode, the last one. It goes down a little bit. Maybe this is the one thing I'll edit in. It goes down a little bit and then it's flat and then it goes whoop for the integration because everybody skips through it and then it's flat again. I want to give amazing props and shout out to Classy for editing it and working with Mondays who did a lot of attention to detail on that video. It's probably the most produced hardcore episode we've ever released and almost every comment I see on that talks about how fire that editing was. He did amazing, absolutely amazing, and I could not be happier with that video. If that is our new bar, I think we're gonna do okay. <clears throat> so that's all of the content that's coming. That's talking about streams. That's talking about the team. How can you be a part of it? Well, there's some really easy ways. First up, if you're on YouTube, you probably noticed that the $5 tier got axed. And that's because it was kind of more expensive to gift someone a membership than to become a member yourself. And that was stupid. That was genuinely just me misunderstanding the way that system worked. And pff, that, that, that was so dumb. So apologies if you got a membership and then you lost it or if you had to deal with a refund. I really like how YouTube just refunds if you cancel the membership instead of just taking the money and running. But the $5 tier is gone because I want it to be as cheap as possible for somebody to be gifted a membership or somebody to become a member on YouTube because really the benefits of YouTube membership are all the emotes in chats and in comments and you get the little badge when you comment on a video, which elevates your comment by the way, members comments will be prioritized in YouTube comment section. So if you really want people to see you go first, Make sure you remember, you have a better chance of it happening. And then there's the $10 tier, which is really the same as the Patreon $10 tier, which is the, you get the 100 days maps and downloads. And I figured since 99% of people are watching those videos on YouTube, it makes sense for there to be a place on YouTube for you to be able to get it. I get less of that $10 versus the $10 on Patreon. But if it's easier for you all, it's worth the extra couple bucks to provide options and opportunities to just make the entire process frictionless. <clears throat> See, that's the part that normally gets cut out. <laughs> I actually like that this is a wonder. You can kind of see how the recording goes. If this was edited, it would probably be a very tight 15 minute video, but I wanted it to feel authentic. Not to say that edited content is not authentic, but I don't know, something about it just it really, I really wanted to do this simple. That leads us to the Patreon, where I've tweaked things. The monthly game night, uh, or the bi-monthly game night, which turned into the quarterly game night, I apologize. I, I, I deeply apologize for just mismanaging that one. I was so over my capacity on time on any given week or day or night that I think we only did that like three or four times and I failed to deliver on that. I think it's important to call that out because I am not perfect and I will, I'm not gonna pretend to be, except maybe when I'm in character for D&D or for Dominion. I messed up and I apologize. So we're gonna be changing specifically that $20 tier from monthly game night to a monthly town hall. A video like this, where I explain where we're going, what the content slate for the next month is looking like, and what changes are gonna be made. Anybody at that tier or above will know first, probably by about like 48 hours before public announcements. That way I can kind of work with the people who are most invested in the channel. Financially, yes, but also kind of emotionally. It feels like a gut check or a way to identify that to be able to make sure that we're building out something that works for me and my team, as well as it works for you all, the people watching. 
other than that, Patreon is relatively unchanged. I'm pretty happy with how that's all been. I'm going to be pushing people to it a little bit more because eventually we might lose subscribership on Twitch. Or in general, you should just not sub on Twitch because it costs you way more and I get way less of it. And we're just going to try to push all of that attention to Patreon instead. That's the goal. That's what we're going to be doing. And that is kind of everything that I had on my notes in front of me as far as what I wanted to talk about in this video. So let's end here. I acknowledge and admit that I lead a very privileged life. I think that's important to say. I get to do something that I'm insanely passionate about, and I get to make that a way to provide for my family for 11 months, doing it full time. Now that I'm working a job, <clears throat> I don't need all of that to support my family. A good chunk of this money still goes, like anything that I take out at this point goes, I mean, it's helped with the move, yes, but it goes into my kid's college fund. We're kind of back to that. I'm much more focused on paying the salaries and paying for the hours and the time of the people around me. I want to be that person who leaves things better than they found it. We've said this a couple times on stream before. The rule of be good to each other is not just our mantra as a community, it's, it's how you try to make it work. And sometimes that involves being good to people who aren't good back, always trying to grow and help pull people up out of whatever bad situation they've been put into or whatever mistakes that they've made. Or you take people who are doing great and you just remove barriers in their way to let them do more amazing things because there's one less thing on their plate that they have to worry about. I am insanely lucky and insanely privileged to be in a position where we can have this conversation, where this kind of idea is possible. There are so many other big things that I would love to do. And as we continue to grow this community, I think we will be able to do it. I did a State of the Gundo stream where I made all sorts of announcements of things that I thought were gonna work and then the recession started to hit and a lot of them fell through, which was a bummer. That sucked. But then I realized, I stepped back and thought, wait, we're able to grow the team out at this point. There are people who work for Lagundo Media Group. That's their job. I'm able to actually create opportunities for people to have that be a thing. And that is mental. That is that is a a sentence very few get to say, and I am insanely lucky and insanely thankful for the support of all of you who makes that possible. Whether you're one of the insanely generous people who is gifting memberships or supports me on Patreon or has donated, become a member yourself, well, you're one of the amazingly talented people. Who grow to our who grow our community by donating your time, the amazing fan art that I see, and how quick some of you all make it is baffling. Let me get that out of the way. But that is so so touching for me. And that is generally one of the most amazing things. I still, to this day, go back and watch the Cookie Cat Numb animation of the Dominion SMP season one. And I get teary-eyed because. I always said when we started that server, if we ever get a fan video or an animation made off of this, then Dominion was a success. And now it feels like that is just the first step, but it's still, I, I never want to discount the successes we've had and, and be thankful for everybody along the way. I'm constantly reaching forward and trying to pull for more to grow because I want to be able to do more for my family, for the people around, for this community. And then I want to be able to do good with our community for charity fundraising events and other things like that. And yeah, if, if there's ever a moment where it feels like I'm not thankful or I'm not appreciative of everything that we have, please know that I am in tears sometimes at, at the support. Just y'all break me pretty regularly in the best possible way. The reason why I'm constantly striving for more is because I think we can do good in the world and I think we can do better and I want to keep doing that. Maybe one day, maybe one day, years from now, 
after we've built everything we have here, we, the dream idea, the studio, anything else that's in my head, it all becomes a reality. At some point in time, I know this will end. Everything does, right? My new goal is one day for somebody to say, I wish I could be the next Lagundo or the next thing that we call whatever I do next. That's what I want. Lagundo, fake Spanish word for legend. I've always had kind of an obsession with that because legends are stories that are told from person to person and they persist over time, generations, millennia. Do I think I'm like a Greek god hero? Heck no, look at me, right? But I don't know. The idea of being a story that will live on longer than I'm the one telling it is is an amazing one. Look at some of the creators who have come and gone, unfortunately, that we've lost, unfortunately, and the impact that they've left behind. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not planning to anytime soon, but that is, at the end of the day, where I think we're going and what I'm hoping we're gonna be able to do. And that's the road ahead. And with that, it's time for me to pack. So thank you all so much. Thank you, house. You treated me well. I will talk to you all next time.